Northwest Biotherapeutics is a development stage American pharmaceutical company headquartered in Maryland that focuses on developing immunotherapies against different types of cancer. It was founded in 1996 by Alton L. Boynton. Topic. Business model Northwest relies upon the contract manufacturing organization Cognate Bioservices for services supporting manufacture of its products for clinical trials. Their relationship with Cognate began before 2007, and is slated to extend through the first quarter of 2016. Due to cash flow issues common to development stage companies, Northwest compensates Cognate through a combination of cash payments and stock. Cognate has also provided Northwest with at least one short-term loan, provided and paid in mid-2013. As of 2014, Northwest's expanding clinical trials have led to an increased reliance on Cognate's services, and subsequent renegotiation of their agreement. Technology The DC VAX technology upon which NWBO's therapies rely involves injecting cancer patients with dendritic cells, which contain high levels of the same antigens found in tumor cells. The immune system, alerted by these antigens, attacks the cancer as well as the injected cells. Dendritic cells. Northwest Biotherapeutics currently has three different DCVAX cancer treatments in various levels of clinical trial. All three utilize dendritic cells, one of many types of white blood cells. The basic principle behind the therapy is that if one injects or creates a large enough number of dendritic cells carrying mutant proteins matching a cancer, they excite enough T cells and B cells to overwhelm the cancer's defenses. Topic. DC Vaxel DC Vaxel is a solid tumor cancer therapy currently in phase 3 clinical testing in the US, Canada, Germany and the UK, for newly diagnosed GBM, a common and aggressive form of brain cancer. In Germany, it is being tested on all gliomas. Not just newly diagnosed GBM, in this variation of the DC Vax line, the tumor is removed through surgery, and some of the tumor presented to the aforementioned dendritic cells for the scavenging of tumor proteins. These dendritic cells, laden with tumor protein antigens, are then injected under the skin near lymph nodes. The dendritic cells then travel to the local lymph node where the dendritic cells present the proteins to the T and B cells. As previously described, these dendritic cells are grown in the lab from stem cells extracted from the patient's blood. Only a sugar cube sized sample of the tumor is needed for subsequent presentation to the dendritic cells. The tumor sample is first broken down into constituent proteins using a caustic process known as lysing, thus, the L in the name DC Vax L. After the resulting tumor lysate is presented to the dendritic cells they are ready for subcutaneous injection near the selected lymph nodes there are approximately 500 lymph nodes in the body most are peripheral some are internal topic <laughs> dc vax direct DC Vax Direct, the latest addition to the DC Vax line, is currently in Phase 1 trials in the U.S. It does not require removal of the tumor, making it ideal for inoperable tumors, if proven effective. It is currently in Phase 1 testing on patients with inoperable tumors of a very large range of cancer types. In the procedure, dendritic cells are developed as in DC Vax cell, prior to antigen exposure. Pulsing. However, the subsequent exposure to tumor antigens does not occur in vitro but in vivo. The prepared dendritic cells, along with adjuncts, are injected directly into one or more tumors. At least two adjuncts are added to the dendritic cells. One adjunct excites a general aspect of the body's immune response, another excites a more tumor specific response. This mixture is then injected into the patient's tumor. There, the dendritic cells are expected to scavenge tumor proteins, then find their way to the local lymph node for presentation of the tumor protein antigens to T cells and B cells. The activated T and B cells then travel to the tumor and kill tumor cells. 
Ruptured tumor cells release more mutant proteins that are picked up by dendritic cells and other immune cells, and are carried to the lymph nodes to excite still more B and T cells. Theoretically, this cycle repeats, accelerates, then levels off at a high but safe level. The Phase I trial that finished enrollment in July, 2014 seeks to confirm this. DC Vax L and DC Vax Direct, if effective, could address virtually all forms of solid tumor cancers, operable and inoperable, with the possible exception of prostate cancer. Topic: <laughs> DC Vax Prostate. Northwest, having completed phase 2 clinical trials for DC Vax Prostate, has received FDA permission to progress to phase 3. The trial is expected to be quite large, and Northwest has sought partners for the endeavor. The DC Vax prostate process is similar to DC Vax L, but rather than using the patient's tumor as the protein source, it utilizes a synthetic protein that is an analog to a common mutated protein in prostate cancer cells. This method is very different, and expected to be far more effective than the currently approved immunotherapy. Dendrion uses PAP, while NWBO uses PSMA. According to NWBO representatives, Dendrion's target antigen PAP, is not expressed in all prostate cancers, but requires patient screening to see their target's expression. By contrast, NWBO's target antigen PSMA, is expressed in all prostate cancers. Additionally, with Dendrion's target, the level of expression declines as the cancer progresses, while the level of expression of NWBO's target increases. Another difference in the target antigens is that NWBO's target is bound to the membrane of the tumor cell. If the DC Vax hits our target, explains Linda Powers, it hits the cell for sure. Dendrion's target is secreted by the cell, so while the target is close by, it is not necessarily bound to the cell in every instance. Antibodies can come along and glom onto to the target and not hit the cell itself, which means accuracy is an issue. Topic. Production efficiency The high cost of production for first-generation dendritic cell therapies is often used as evidence that DC Vax prostate and the other DC Vax therapies will not be economically viable. These arguments consistently ignore the fact that Northwest Biotherapeutics has developed and regularly utilizes methods to freeze dendritic cells for transport and storage. This gives NWBO an enormous production cost advantage over these older therapies and over current would-be competitors, in part because it allows centralized processing of the patient samples at one enormous facility. Further, as mentioned, Northwest has developed and patented automated MFG processes that further reduce cost. The manufacturing processes are similar for all three of Northwest's therapies. For each of the three, the production process is identical regardless of the patient, and even regardless of the solid tumor cancer type. Combined with centralized automatic MFG, this greatly simplifies large-scale production, potentially allowing cost efficiency to reach levels unexpected for a product that is not a pill. Topic products DC Vaxel is now in Phase 3 trials in USA and Europe. It was awarded orphan drug status. DC Vax Direct is a therapy to treat inoperable solid tumors in Phase 1 trials in the U.S. DC Vax Prostate finished Phase 2 trials and has been approved for Phase 3 trials in the U.S. Topic. Footnotes and references Topic. External links Northwest Biotherapeutics homepage